Hi everyone, it's Muriel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to doing something a little different I haven't done before. I am sharing with you or you're coming along with me as I pack up a birthday gift for a friend. So I have this box. It's quite ugly, but I did a little decorating on the inside. I just kind of used some paper by pebbles. I decorated all four sides. And then I have these um, stickers that say happy birthday. They, I picked them up at Michael's some time ago. They're actually for a water bottle. If you're gonna have a party and you're gonna have um, drinks or water bottles or whatever, you can peel these off and put them on the water bottle and they'll, they'll all say happy birthday. So I thought I would use that. So I put one here and I have one on this side. I started doing this video and then my neighbor stopped by, so I had to stop it. So only thing I have in the box so far is a bunch of birthday shred. And then I have lots of these um, sequins. They look like birthday cakes and they're all different colors. And I started putting a few things in. So what I'm gifting to this person is this cute box, right? I picked this up around Easter time. And I have some of my um, bag toppers, I'm calling them. They need to be attached to um, either she makes the own bag topper or you use a doily but these will go on top and these are uh, three of the nicer ones that I made so I'm gifting them to her and I didn't want to do anything more to this box because it's already cute as is and then I am sharing three of my uh, wire wrapped tassels that I made uh, some time ago and they're just in this pillow box that I created um, using some acetate it has some gold words on it and I just uh, wrapped it with some um, twine and then on the side here there is a flower a tassel and a small small butterfly and then I just pulled out a tag that says believe in yourself a Maggie Holmes flower and leaf so I'm gonna put that in there. And then what I did is I put um, shred on top of all of this with some sequins. And then I'm going to fold my bubble wrap over because I just want this to get there safe and not be damaged in because of my packing skills. Then I thought I would share with her one of my best bows that I made. Uh, Natalie, hi Natalie, shared with us how to make these bows and when i say this tutorial is very easy you have got to go check it out um you use your double-sided paper and this is one of my nicer ones because it, it you know with all of the folding over i got this ladybug to show on the outside so i thought i would share that with her and i just have some gold and white shred and then this is a bag topper that i made as i was doing lots of de-stashing i ran across of this kit that I had from Michael's, just tidbits and pieces left over. So I thought I'd make this bag topper and then put it in here for her. So we're gonna lay that one here and I'm gonna put some more birthday shred and my um, sequence looks like this. I took it out of its packaging and we'll just sprinkle some like that. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do again is back with some bubble wrap fold. Okay, the next thing I am gifting to this person is this, um, there's something inside and if you watch her video, um, you'll be able to um, see it. But I made this policy envelope. It's just a um, policy envelope from a tutorial. I think I got this tutorial from Anna Thales. And um, I had to, as I mentioned, I had to make adjustments to it so that it would fit what's inside. But then I took a lot of my um, Happy Hooray uh, ephemera and the paper and decorated the top. So it's kind of dimensional. I just have it up on a um, folded uh, piece of uh, birthday paper. So I thought that came out really cute. A great way to use up some of these die cuts. And then I have some of that cute, um, sulky um, metallic thread on top. So we're gonna put that, I think we can put that like this. And of course, more shred and more sequence. 
And then I have, and I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and I'll share this with you. I created this embellishment box. It's just a um, small box from Daiso. And it has five compartments to it. And I just used some of this pom-pom trim I picked up a long time ago at Marshall's. Me and my daughter was out earlier this year. And I just have some, um, what is that called? Because um, I had someone make these, the... Um, Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, first of all, I know this is a prima flower. And then this is made into a rosette. And um, I have a sticker here from the Happy Hooray paper. Same thing with this one. It says, get your party started. And then I put a pink pom-pom on the cat's head. And just use some of the stickers and some of the... Um, what is this stuff called? My neighbor just came over and she just shared, she was asking about the squirrel and she shared with me her surgery um, that she had today. So I'm glad she's doing okay. Some Nouveau drops. Um, this is um, some white Nouveau drops and then I just put some glitter on top. But I'll open it up and share with you what I created for her. Let me find my tweezers because I don't want to pick, pick the stuff up. So in the box, I am sharing some of my um, wire wrapped tassels that I made recently and I shared these and they have a charm that says made with love. So I got about five of those in there. And then I made some wire wrapped dangle charms or just wire wrapped charms. And these beads are from Michaels. They're really, really pretty. So I made one of each color. And then I made some of these um, rolled Flower, uh, roses or rolled flowers and they're really small I used a um, my favorite things die and I made about six of those and I put some diamond um, stickles on them and a bead in the center and then I tried my hand at some sequence clusters and look how cute that came out and they've been glued down now for about two days so I also have bits of pieces of um, confetti thrown in there. So um, it's not that the pieces are falling off, but they came out so cute and they're so small. I think the smaller, the cuter. That's just my opinion. And then lastly, I made something for the um, upcoming holiday. And these are what I'm calling my 4th of July <laughs> um, p uh, uh, sequence uh, clusters. They have some red stars on them. There is lots of uh, red and white, um, just enamel dots. There's buttons. So I made three of them. So I'm sharing those with her as well. So we'll get those back in there. And then I lined the paper with some of the, um, I lined the, the kit here, little plastic thing with some of the paper from the happy hooray so that's within there and here is a sticker this is says happiest of birthdays to you close that up and then i have some of that um to sully's metallic thread across here so what i want to do with this one here i do want to put it in plastic and then i will uh wrap it up and put it in the box as well, just like so. More shred. I've seen some people's packages. Oh my God, the shred is out of control. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to fold this over for it's almost last time, just pushing it down gently. And then um, I have the, um, memory decks card that I made several weeks ago. It's happy birthday. Um, it, I made it with one um, sticker sheet from um, Hobby Lobby by the um, Paper Studio. So I just used everything on there and I put it together. Like I said, I've shown that in a, um, in a video. So more shred and more sequence.
and hopefully this will really make her day. I love birthdays. I love when it's my birthday and people celebrate. <laughs> and then I have this cute little, fun little, I don't even want to call it a keychain, but I'm going to put this in here. I picked these up at Michael's some time ago, long time ago, and I have three of them. And, and something was telling me to turn to the side, and I looked and I go, oh, so cute. They look like snowflakes. I don't know if they're holiday or not, but I just think it looks cute um, in the bag. And then last but not least, I have her card. Of course, it's in a blue envelope. And I'll be putting that in here, maybe like this. And then I will be closing up the box, like so, and getting it mailed off to this person. So thank you for being with me as I did. This is really fun. You know, I wish I had a nicer box. And like I said, we there was a choice because I have about six of them that I've kept. But my daughter yesterday got a package from either Melt Cosmetics or Morphe. It's a Morphe. And inside of that box is really, really pretty. And I'll be using that because I have another birthday that I'm going to be wrapping up and giving some goodies to. But I wanted to uh, share this with you and I, I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the things I made and I'm hoping that she does as well. So thank you again for watching, for stopping by. I hope everyone is doing well. And until my next video, you guys take care. Bye now.